Yeah. Down by the lake. Just practicing my skills. Those are my nephews. That's my boy. <laughs> Picking up a little birch, real dry birch wood bark. It's some real good stuff. Got my machete and tomahawk. I was doing a little cutting. I got my, today I'm carrying my MSK-1. Uh, yeah. So, I was down here cutting and my wife pulled in the parking lot with my boy. You don't say goodbye? <laughs> they got cameras all over this place. They never did, but they do now. So, you gotta, you gotta make sure you're hitting dead stuff. Because uh, people do call on you. I got this thing so sharp, it's almost razor blade sharp. One slice. Oh, actually not, not this time. I did it over here one shot before. My nephew was like, what? I'm like, it's not always like that. You don't always get it in one shot. Yeah, let's, get it, let's try it again. Don't total miss I'm trying to keep the camera on it. Let's forget the camera for a second. One, two. I miss a lot because I should be practicing more. All of these vines. They're all for me over the years, all of that. You couldn't even walk back here one time. This is starting to get hard now. This is where I cut down last year. But yep, I cleared it all up a little at a time. Like I said there, I should have left it because it was pretty. The vines were just dangling, but I don't know. I'm human and by nature, I'm destructive, I guess. That was a clean cut. Missed. That was another clean cut. Yeah, so those are from last week. Yeah, so just down here playing around. not going to go far with either because this tree has been down quite a few years listen to it it is hard it's like you're cutting away and nothing <laughs> nothing and this guy's sharp because I'm always sharpening it I got this little guy here back here carry a speedy sharp little balls with Vaseline my, my uh, ferro rod <laughs> let me give it a throw you guys are really gonna last now because this I promise you I suck at it See? <laughs> I'll see you back at the house. All right. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, so. Something to do when I'm not working, I guess. I practice my, my fire skill making and. You know, all sorts of things. How to get water. Plenty of it out there. Here's another one that's a hundred years old. This thing, you ain't chopping this down unless you got a real axe. You ain't doing it with this baby axe or whatever it is. Baby, 
hatchet. It's supposed to be a a war hatchet. Yeah, okay. I like it because you know you can grip it all the way up here. You know, just if you have to get some some tinder or something like that, fire starter. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm just about done uh, boring you guys. For the three people a year that look at my videos. <laughs> like I said, I make these videos for a personal library. I just keep uploading them and then I put them on one of them little sticks. Look. I'm a nice romantic lunch with the old lady. It's a shame people do that, but they do. Ooh, look at that rock down there. Well, let me go down there and check it out. See if that thing will throw any spark. I could use it with my flint and steel setup. Just got a nice piece of flint from uh, England. Whew, nice, but uh, yeah. It's not that easy. If you don't make the chalk cloth perfect, and you're just jerking. If I can make a nice walking stick out of this. Is this flint? No. You know what that is? Wow. No, that's looks like a bag of mortar. That was a bag of mortar that got wet. Look, if that was flint, I'd be in like flint, wouldn't I? <laughs> they charge you 20 bucks for a piece like that. I did that once, now I'm smarter. Like everything in life, you gotta learn by your mistakes. For $55, you could buy a box. It'll last you till you get arthritis in your fingers. I used to swim out there years ago. Lake is about a mile in circumference. Every year, they lose a male. I think a woman never lost her life in this lake. Every year, a man dies in this lake. Supposedly, it was cursed by a, an Indian. There's a whole story. It's true. About the cursing part, I don't know if that's true. I don't believe in that. But I do know almost every year, it takes somebody. It's been pretty calm lately. If you look it up, it's called Lake Ronkonkoma. R-O-N-K-O-N-K-O-M-A, Ronkonkoma. They got lots of videos and stuff on this lake. People go down and they find old silverware and stuff because years ago they used to have old pavilions around here. There's some of them still standing back there. They use them as rehabilitation centers now. A couple of old mansions back there. And um, all around the the perimeter of the lake they would have ferris wheels that they went around and when they came down they would you go like two three feet into the water and out they had it set up like that they had slides and jackie gleason used to come out here a lot a lot of stars used to come out here matter of fact i just i don't know which house it is one of those mansions there's two of them out there the original peter pan from the like, 20s or 30s she um she used to live there and also bob ross you ever guys ever hear bob ross that painter he used to paint pictures and he was always like there are no mistakes this is your beautiful world and we only make beautiful mistakes that we can fix he was real calm anyway he he died about 15 years ago but his son, Bob Ross Jr., he bought a house off the lake here, too. My house is, you see that road right there? You see the corner house right there? You go up the road, and I'm the other corner house. It's a pretty nice idea, but, you know, I want to get away. I told my wife, let's sell the house. We got a lot of equity in it. I just want to move. I don't want to have a neighbor 100 feet away from me. The way this shit's going right now, I like to see you walk around all fat and jolly and smoke coming out of your chimney when your neighbors are 
dying of hunger and they're freezing to death because they don't know how to prepare for anything. Everything's gonna be the same. It's never gonna get bad. I got news for them. I'm done talking because I sound like a jerk. Let me see. Do I got everything? Oh yeah, my knives are over there. Anyway, guys. I just gave this boy a girl lovely bath. She needed it. Nine years old, 90,000 miles on it. This thing will last me forever. Excuse me. There's some birch. Birch wood, uh, Gomez I, uh, yeah, I stock up on it, stick it in plastic bags, leave it. Yeah, this is my little 2013 CRV. Fully loaded. When I wanted to buy this originally, it was it was about thirteen thousand nine hundred, you know, then tax and tags. Uh when I bought it, it jumped up to fifteen because of the, the market. Now the damn thing, if you want one with under a hundred thousand miles, you're paying anywhere from seventeen to twenty one thousand dollars for a nine year old car. That's how ridiculous things are getting. And, but yet, you know, nobody sees it. I try to talk to my neighbors when I see them. You know, I, I do. I tell them, look, look, look at the price of gas, the cars, the utilities in your house, a piece of meat at the store, if you could even get it, right? And, you know, I'm just a crazy guy that piles wood and stacks silver. I'm just an idiot. Anyway. Yours truly, 12 and a half minutes, probably the longest video I ever made. Real professional, I got perfect lighting, I got a staff, all nine. <laughs> all right guys, look, later Gator man, see you later.